ideology that's fucking outdated. You know what I mean? We live under an outdated mentality. Our system is relatively new. Neoliberalism is a new thing. I'm talking about House of Representatives. It's an old mentality. How do we have a House of Representatives that didn't even understand Facebook when they interviewed Mark Zuckerberg? They didn't understand the internet, how things work. That's old mentality. We need new minds and House of Representatives to actually make a progressive actual difference in America. Whether it's right or left, we need somebody who's new-minded. That's what I believe. Would you agree with me? Well, I would say we need somebody new-minded, but it definitely can't be somebody on the right. Because if we go any more to the right, okay, so we're what, in a fascist state. What, so what about if it was three people, right? A left, a right, and a center, an independent. Because you kind of need a mediator in all positions. You always have their version, the opposition, and the truth. You always have three sides. So if you have a person in the center, you have a way to kind of you and I speak, and then now I take the knowledge and the respect. Now I go have a conversation with the opposition, per se, to you, and I talk about it, and now we mediate, we make a difference. That's what we need. We need three. It's never two nor one. It's always three. You need. You always need somebody who's going to be center, left field, right field. You can't play a football game. You can't do anything without left and right. Where is the starting point? Where's the starting point? Now. Right now could be the starting point. Where is the starting point? When you talk about left, right, and center, that means something. Yeah, this right now. Because the left currently is conservative. This is literally history. Conservatives are 25 years from now. This is going to be a fucking titillating. Titillating fascism right now. They're like right up against it. You know what I think fascism is? I think fascism is when you're forced to believe something that is not really your belief, and they're not willing to understand it is fascism. If you look up the fa definition of fascism, fascism is the, fa the forcing of a mentality or ideology on a group of people. That's the definition of fascism if you look it up. And I really believe, with all due respect, that people are being forced to listen and have to abide by a mentality that they do not maybe agree with, and maybe when they don't agree with it, they're scared to speak up against people who don't agree with them because they fear, they fear what might possibly happen if them trying to make a difference and say, hey man, look, it's like you getting a job, right? And you're the new guy, and all the fucking new, the old employees are making you do everything because you're the new guy. You get me? And then you want to say something back, but you fear losing your job. You get what I mean? Right. It's like there's no way to make peace if people aren't willing to be listened to or be spoken to properly without without being misrepresented and misspoken. You know, being labeled a Nazi, dude. I mean, not everybody's a Nazi. I'm, right. I can't speak on. I think honestly. Calling people Nazis is like uh, kind of a side point because it's a very specific, specific type of fascism. Y'all are definitely American fascists. I'm not, yo, I'm not an American fascist. Mm. I'm the son of two immigrants that come this from guy, Cuba, bro. Let's this guy very well could be. I'm the son this of two guy? immigrants that come from Cuba, bro. I'm just the opposite of a fascist. My parents come what's, from a communist country. Huh? What's that? Uh, the opposite of a fascist? Let's see. Uh, my son is half white, half Mexican. Right? I believe in people's rights. Right? I believe in a smaller government. I hate corporations. That's not the opposite of fascism. Though. So why are they called fascists if they believe the opposite of fascism? That's why you need someone in the middle to say that. Because if people on the left believe that they're on the right and they're fascists and they actually say right there they don't believe in fascism and you say that's the opposite of fascism, Fasc to me right there, like there's yeah. at least five percent of compromise in that that sense that was being spoken back to and forth each other. Fascism is when mean? government and corporations come together and work together as one government. I mean, well, the chosen corporations. Okay, chosen corporations. I hate corporations. So if I hate corporations, that includes the cho chosen corporations. But do you hate all corporations? I hate all corporations. I think they're greedy pigs. So I don't think... So you're an anti-capitalist. Huh? You're an anti-capitalist. No, I'm not an anti-capitalist. Corporations are a direct byproduct of capitalism. Right, but we don't need cor corporations and still have capitalism. Mom and pop stores aren't corporations. We're losing mom and pops, man, because corporations are coming in and fucking invading places with lower prices. Yeah, what's better, uh, Walmart or a little mom and pop store? Yeah, mom and pop. I mean, I mean you're not going to find the disagreement with me on that. When Walmart moved into like coastal mm -hmm. and shit, you know? Like, mom and pops actually and care about your well-being and your investment. Right. Mom and pops actually give you proper information based on oh, their yeah. experience, and not just a salesperson. Like, for example, like me, I like the outdoor industry, right? I've been hiking the PCT. I learned a lot. If I go to a store, they're forced to upsell me to a certain product that they're trying to push for either a quota or a promotion or some way of getting an item. Maybe they're not giving you the right act information. A mom and pop actually cares about you, your money. They want to see you come back. They want to greet you every time. Next thing you know, they say, hey, how's it going, Joe? Welcome back. They're giving you now maybe something as a gift. 
Maybe you don't have you, enough you money not, to say here's you for you. Do you not think that like the people of Portland don't feel that way? Honestly, I've been They're homeless. Experimenting with I, I've been homeless in Portland for the mm. last five, six months, and I haven't experienced. I haven't experienced much good. I haven't experienced much people helping me. Honestly, when I panhandle, people just walk by me, just like in every other place. People look at me and think I'm a joke, you know, because I have a Patagonia jacket. What if I save that money that I've worked for in order to actually buy a good jacket? But if it rips on me, I know I have that comfort of po pocket and wallet. No, and I can go to Patagonia and get a new jacket or my jacket fixed. You got me? So people look at me different because I'm on the streets but don't want to help out because of maybe the way I look. It, I mean, you were shouting over me when I was trying to read the words of a homeless man who was no, beaten to death. because you made no sense because I was, asking, I was asking you generally, how can you help me right now? I'm homeless and I need help. And then you started to read me a book that I did not want to read nothing about. You were telling me another homeless man's uh, I, uh, belief or what he said, but it's not your personal experience. Are you homeless, man? Are you homeless? Yes or no? How did you fucking... It's just a you're question. So, you're so off the mark on like three I'm different not. topics right there. I'm not. I'm trying, I'm trying to get to a That's point. That's incredible. I'm trying to get to a point. Are you homeless? You don't look homeless for sure. I mean, I can't say it either because I'm not homeless. But I'm asking you a question. Are you, are you homeless? You're not homeless? I'm homeless. I know what I love. I've been homeless for six, seven years of my life and you're I've been experiencing. Sorry? You just said that you're not homeless. No, I did. I said I'm homeless. I'm asking, are you not homeless? Are you homeless? I don't feel like I have a home in America. Well, you, well if you have a roof, like you, you have keys to a door, and you go to sleep on a bed, and you have a door to lock. Do you have one of those? Do you have one of those places called a room, a bed? Do you have all that? Do you have a roof? No, I'm taking this world one step further. That's all you guys do. Gaslight. Dude, no, I'm not gaslighting. I'm not gaslighting anyone, and you assumed I was a Nazi. I stand. He assumes everything. For the people. Okay. Like you stand for the people, you need to listen to the people. The reason I was asking you if you were homeless is because if you're not homeless, you don't know what it's actually like to be homeless. That's why I'm asking you if you're homeless or not. You can't go based off another person's opinion of their life when you didn't walk those shoes and they didn't experience maybe what they might have done in the situation prior to that, that actually happening or after that incident happened. You know, there's things that happen, there's variables, you know? Okay. So, maybe they had a certain reason, maybe like, who knows, maybe they said, they told somebody, fuck you, and that person didn't help them out, and then they said, man, I don't get no help out here. And they were emotional, they tell someone. The point is, I'm trying to say that, if I'm asking you for help, and you're trying to tell me that you're gonna go to socialism, and I need help now, and you wanna read me a book, it's not giving me help. Especially when you're reading a book that's another person's actual living experience, not yours. And I need help now because I'm homeless, so how can you help me? Without reading me a fucking book that makes no sense to me, nor does it matter now. I it's mean, not our system if you now. you were like, less of a dick? You, so you weren't a dick this whole time? Maybe you could like integrate better with your community. But you're right, you're not wrong. <laughs> there, there is a lot of- Hey Mike, this guy said you know, that I was a fascist. No yeah. <laughs> that's beautiful. That's beautiful. <laughs> so you help me. But let's say you and I got off to a better foot, right? Like we went off on a we went off on a handshake. I don't fucking know you. So I don't know you either, right? But I'm having this time I'd of rather, my life when I, I to speak to you. I help homeless people every time I go out here. I try to, you know, throw a couple of dollars when I can. Yeah. So how does how does giving a homeless man two three dollars really help him? Or maybe you should give the but homeless man another two. How have you I bought will, a homeless man new pants, shoes, shirt? Have you have you shared a meal with them, hung out with them? So have you so how have you changed a homeless man's life? Because giving a homeless man two three dollars doesn't give a, it doesn't make a difference. That's like saying here, how's it solo? I'm going to help homelessness. Okay, how, tell me. And this is how I'd love you, to hear. This is how you can help homelessness. All Let's see. People at home. Vote for Bernie Sanders. Vote for Bernie Sanders. Vote for Bernie Sanders. <laughs> Vote for Bernie what's, Sanders. What's what's so good about Bernie? Let me ask What's you a so question. Let me ask you a question. So I kind of agree with the thing that everybody is entitled to, you know, being treated fairly, have have a fair share of things like medical health care, right? I think that's that's a right No doubt about that, right? There's certain things that people should have naturally yeah. because of who they are and what they do and how to provide. But when you have somebody that says, hey bro, you can have 30 rounds, you can only have 10. Okay, now here's a question. When people who are people like us that live next to you, right? Maybe you might not be armed. And you had a 30 round magazine, now you have a 10. And somebody comes into your building and starts fucking shooting off on your neighbors and you're limited to 10 rounds. How can you defend everybody when you're limited to what you should have because it's called a killer? Or an AR-15 is a, an assault rifle. Well, like. well, you know how we do that is that we, we stop emboldening Donald Trump. 
Biden from spreading it's not hateful about Trump, dude. rhetoric. It's not about Trump, dude. I'm asking you about gun rights. Bernie Sanders. I'm talking people. about Bernie Sanders. Talking We're talking about Bernie right now. Bernie says that people shouldn't be allowed to have. You're asking about capacity. where the where this problem is coming from, with, like people shooting no. stuff up. Dude, people have been shooting places for fucking years. Of course, of course, but it's been increasingly from a specific. You, you don't think that, that you don't think that that's actually happening because of the forced pharmaceuticals that have been forced on people, dude? I was a little kid. Check this out. Also, it's Check me out. I was a little kid when I was really young, about, and my mom and pop split. About, I was forced on SSRIs and antidepressants and forced fucking drugs. And bro, I swear, my mom it made me a person I am not. It fucking took my mind over, and I was a robot. There, that's what happens. Those are the people that are psychologically fucked you, and you, they get off you those. You know what a huge, and huge, huge, and huge, crazy. huge problem. What with, about, like these active shooters and stuff? Okay, is that. We have vets who need real medical help coming back from endless wars. What about the vets that end up homeless? Those people need help too. Sorry? The homeless vets, people who end up homeless? The homeless need help. Everybody. We all need to help each other more. Okay. But we can't do it while you, you know, nationalist demagogues are yeah. getting in the way. Well, you can't say you because I'm not Trump. Trump. Not saying that you support Trump, but this movement is what supports you support Trump. Fuck no, I don't support Trump. Okay. Well, you know, you know what? People, so I think you know, in my personal opinion, why people uh, support somebody because I think along the campaign, it's not necessarily who that person is, but maybe the opposition, and maybe if they vote for that one particular party, it'll help them actually be able to sustain their life and live. Uh, like I'll give you an example, like Trump, right? A lot of Cubans voted for Trump. That's statistically proven. When Trump went to Miami, he went to a place called Versailles, which is the number one rated uh, Cuban restaurant in all of Miami in the southeast, right? Trump promised a lot of things to help out between Cuban embargo, Cubans. Uh, and, uh, policies and stuff like that that happened. In that process, he made that stuff, but it never ended up happening. And every time that an election happens, we always vote for somebody that says, hey, we're gonna help out with this, this, and this, but they never do it. They're really a puppet, and this goes back to what I say, how to represent has that's, to change. I mean, everyone knows that every most politicians are corrupt and that our system is failing. Of course, that's why we're having a fissure in our culture. You, that's why we're having a fissure between extreme right and extreme left. Okay. And that's why we have a big problem. That's why we so need to come together. If you're not afraid of the extreme right, I'm not afraid of the extreme left. I'm not scared of both parties, man, because at the end of the day, I haven't fucked with nobody. It's not a party thing. It's a political ideology thing. No, I'm a and center guy, man. I mean, I believe both sides can do well for both parties. Both are like wholly, wholly, you know, limited in this respect. Okay. I, I wouldn't expect you to. Mm. Nah, I'm speaking to you with respect, honestly. I'm open to hear what you say because I'm enjoying this debate. And, and I'm not saying because I'm enjoying it in a negative perspective, I'm, I'm enjoying a discussion because it's not every day you get to have a, an actual intellectual discussion with somebody. A lot of people nowadays, man, it's all small talk. Hey, how's it going, John? How's the fucking weather? Who gives a fuck about the fucking weather? Who's your fucking day been? Who gives a fuck about how your day's been? You know, like, talking about your day doesn't make a difference in the fucking world. I heard almost you know what I mean? you talking about. So that's why I'm actually enjoying uh, this conversation right now. That's why I'm actually, I'm actually enjoying this. And I'm having a they're, they're talking about yeah, politics, I mean, no not just homelessness, no negativity, but a whole spectrum of things. Open discussion, whole spectrum of things. Yeah. Well, I think, no. I mean, most people should have rights. You know what the, the right way to do it? Okay. okay. The thing is, is that you guys I mean, sound making it illegal man, don't say you guys right. It'll make it illegal to fly science. Don't put me in a group, please. That's all I ask out of In Rogers, Minnesota, And I apologize when I put you in a group for being a skinhead. For saying you're a skinhead. Is that fair? Who's being sarcastic? Nope. Just putting me in a group. So, like, I don't care. I know where I'm at. I don't know why you're so sensitive about it. You know, you know, the Supreme I mean, Court ruled that flying science, science is constitutional I just, honestly, about 15 years ago. Because I know the ACLU helped them pass that. Really yeah. Like, I've never experienced a problem, the but this is only my third event ending. The ACLU versus the state of Washington. So you just walk with them because the Supreme Court was ruled that it's legal to camper around all the people on the opposite. Yeah. It's, it's been resistance, you get me? Like, I get you guys have anarchism, you guys want to fight, you know, by showing presence. This is going on my channel. I think, man, when you pick it up, you're on my channel. I think that's going on his Facebook. Okay. He's doing it live. For somebody who's an outsider and been living here for like five, six when, months on the streets. Well, I'm saying like businesses like that right when they have a uh, break on the actual glass in the front. Mom and pop. You never know, man. There might have been some. Maybe some might people feel it. That's where we have to end the conversation because that's what I know you're for. Oh, no, I was great talking with you. Oh. Hey guys, vote for Bernie. It's dire. If we don't vote for Bernie and we don't take all the money from the rich, we're done. Ah, oh, what else do you have to say? Hey, what wait, you're living on the streets as well? Yeah. I'm Dirty Sanchez. Mondo. I'm a, I'm a street kid, I'm a traveler. That's all I have. Word, same here. Uh, 
So what, what were you talking about? I want to like, I want to hear what you have to say. So I just, I just wandered about this. I, I heard talk about homelessness. And yeah, I was saying like, how are they gonna like? I think instead of them focus on uh, complete open borders and having everybody come in, like, don't get me wrong, I come from parents who are immigrants and came here to from Cuba, and I think people should come in. As long as we have the Statue of Liberty, I say this for a Jewish we can report. Yeah. You know, I guess we should get, we should be able uh, to accept people. I just think the problem is we're having a major issue economically and what's really going on with people and we're having outside. a major. Yeah. I mean, the whole thing is we're having a major issue with housing. We're, this country exactly. is way too overpopulated. Exactly. So my story is I came from Grand Rapids, Michigan. That's where I started. I had a job make $15, $16 an hour and I couldn't pay the bills. I worked seven days a week doing everything I could yeah. and it was charging me. They were charging me so much I couldn't live. So I hit the road. It was the best decision I've ever made. But then it, it makes it hard when you're going through states like Minnesota 